when checking radiator fan operation, first thing you want to do is check the fusible links. They're under this cover here. You just pop the cover open and you can have a look at the fusible links. If they're cracked or broken, replace them first. Remove the switch or the harness plug for the radiator fan switch. Bridge low speed. <clears throat> both fans should run this one's running this one's not bridge high speed both should be running this one's running this one's running so this slow speed isn't running there are resistor packs here that control low and high speed you have to remove this panel there's two little bolts here I can already see that this resistor is all cracked. This one's looking pretty good. Um, you can test them with the test light. The quickest thing to do is just to disconnect them and swap connectors. that later so after swapping the one that wasn't working on low speed should be and the one that was shouldn't be so there's a low speed this one's not working this one is so we need one of these resistor packs if they're the bo both the same age it's a good idea to replace both at the same time <clears throat> the vehicle can run fine with just one cooling fan working at low speed but that one fan will have to work harder by, by that I mean it will just run longer for a longer period of time this one goes over here this goes over here give the up customer the option of how many uh, resistor packs he wants and they're fairly easy to change you just pry up on the retaining bracket and you lift the resistor out you can see how hot it is it's cracking and so internally here the circuit is no good it has slots so you just slide it back into place and then push down and up there you go so here's a new resistor you can see it's slightly different looking probably a better design cool beans happy days okay new resistor is in place just try to bridge again low speed low speed Happy days. And don't forget to reconnect it.